Greetings, family. I am here today to bring you the messages of our new moon in Scorpio. And guess what? It was a solar eclipse. And to me, that is, <laughs> that's just like wild because you can't get a solar eclipse without a new moon. But new moons are about planting our seeds of intention when in, in the dark. So we can't see. We're planting in the dark, right? But then here comes the solar eclipse blocking out the sun too, <laughs> partially. So it's like, no, we're not illuminated at all. We're, we're doing everything in the dark. Um, and new moons signal new starts, right? New beginnings. <laughs> Sorry. Onyx loves trying to be in the camera. <laughs> but new moons is a signal of a new beginning, right? A new start. And this is exactly how our solar eclipse looked last night or yesterday. So this new moon is in Scorpio. And I just wanted to read a little bit about it. It says, work through your fears. And I know for a fact <laughs> that this new moon in Scorpio is really lighting up, folks. Because my day yesterday started really weird. Um, but as the day progressed, it just got better and better. Um, but I was able to, I guess what you would say, tame what was being shaken up in my life, right? Shake-ups. And I think Scorpio comes through to shake things up. Scorpio comes through with deep, deep emotional feelings. It is a water sign. Um, and it comes through with, you know, deep, deep emotions. Things get dug up and come to the surface, right? And it gets investigated and looked at and picked through, right? But the way it can happen, it can sting you. You know, it can, it can be stinging. And um, if you don't pay attention to the signs, you can really hurt somebody or somebody can really hurt you, right? But what is that about? Fear. That's what I've learned. The, the, the basis for most emotions that fall on a low vibration um, are based in fear. It's steeped in fear. Um, a fear of non-acceptance, a fear based on religion and doctrine indoctrination you know religious indoctrination a fear of that your parents may have instilled in you um or what you see on tv you know there's so many fears that we have to work through in life so with this beautiful new moon in scorpio let's take the time to remember that this is a, a death and a rebirth cycle so as you work through these fears you're going to be some things are going to be dying that you know, some things about you are going to be dying. And then that new you is going to come forth. That's your new start, right? That's the new newness. Scorpio is a sign of death and rebirth, magic and shamans. Its energy is a little bit dark and occult and even scary. <laughs> Not all of us like to face the shadow. And I think that's the problem. We're afraid to face our shadows. So we reject things. It's so easy to do. I do it. <laughs> I've done it and do it. So I know about that. Um, but what what Scorpio is doing is it's working through your dark side so that you can get to the light. Right? So the attunement for this moon is have some sexy time. You know what I'm saying? Scorpio is about that sexy time too. <laughs> um, emotional intimacy. You know, um, which is hard to do because you have to be vulnerable. So you got to let go of the fear, right? Um, additional meanings for this card. It's time to let go of a grudge that you may be holding. Move on from jealousy. Um, stop being obsessive. Could it be that you're paranoid about something? Maybe that's your fear. And then make an investment. Um, come out of yourself. You know what I'm saying? Be altruistic. Do something for somebody else. So new moon in Scorpio. So then I pulled the energy for it. And we got door to the spirit. I was like, what are you talking about door to the spirit? What is this about? Spiritual awakenings and new beginnings. So, of course, this would come through because new moon, new beginnings, new start, right? So, um, this door opens to an expansive energetic realm where all new beginnings originate, right? The orbs of light guide you through the clouds to the earthly world to lead you to a deeper understanding of your eternal identity. Okay? So this is about unlimited potential and reaching deep into the core of your being. That's what the new moon in Scorpio is about, right? So this is a clar clarifying energy for the new moon of Scorpio. 
right? The door to the spirit. Um, now is the time to open up to unexpected guidance and inspiration of spirit and to the magic and power of your true identity, right? So, Scorpio, most Scorpios I know, they about being real. There ain't no fakeness about them too much that I know of anyway. Most of them that I met and know and love, they keep it 100% real, okay? So, my suggestion to you is to go within and find the real you. Don't be afraid. Don't let fear hold you back. Whatever you might find in there, even if it's something ugly, it's still you. Go within and find that. So I got to clarify for Door to Spirit because I went to the Wisdom Oracle and said, what wisdom should we learn behind this energy of Door to the Spirit? And Loyal Heart came out. And I thought that was pretty interesting Um, because, you know, when you're loyal to your heart, you know, loyal to what you believe and you stick to that and don't let nobody pull you out of that energy. Um, fidelity, loyalty, and devotion, right? Um, there's so many meanings to this, but one of the thing is partnerships that I wanted to read is about the relationship messages. And it's your partnerships, your friendships, and your romantic relationships all have many qualities in common right now. Their honest, honest devotion, faithfulness, and a loyal heart are being shown to you. Are you as loyal in return, right? A lot of times, so let me tell y'all something. I get invited to stuff. <laughs> And I may not show up, right? But then I'll have something to expect for everybody to show up, right? So is there balance in your partnerships? Is there balance in how you do things in life? Um, but always know, even when you're not being loyal, even when someone else is not being loyal to you, spirit is always loyal to you. And you can always turn within and, and draw on that energy of spirit to protect you and to guide you, right? Um, and to take you within, to take you within, right? And let you see a reflection of yourself, <laughs> right? So I love to hold mirrors up to people by killing them with kindness, right? But then I've, that's also been done to me and it makes me see myself, right? And I love that. So I think we have to let go of some old things, right? And bring in some new things within ourselves. But the only way to do that is to go within and see it. To hold a mirror up to ourselves. And really ask the same questions of ourselves that we that we say and impose on others. Okay? So this is a wonderful reading. Because Scorpio is coming to shake things up. So then um, the goddess guidance. Um, ask the goddesses to come through. And look who came through. Bast. Independent. This is my... Um, favorite card probably in the deck because it is about me <laughs> well my art too but it says your independence is a foundation for your strength and success so you know although we're talking about partnerships here right it's also like the cat you're fiercely independent yet you also need affection and playful companions right now is the time to balance that social interaction with solitude while you may ask others for their opinions, ultimately you must make your own decisions. Your freedom and independence are top priorities. So ensure that these characteristics are nurtured. Okay? Bas was the Egyptian goddess. Um, she transformed into a cat every night and she protected her family and those who called upon her. Um, so, of course, she worked with cats and she was the daughter of, of Ra. She's the daughter of Ra, our sun god. So with this eclipse energy, I would say instead of, I guess, going, go within and, and be fiercely independent, but also take time to partner with others, right? Take time to get out there and play a little bit, you know, while you're going within, working through your fears, don't, don't, don't beat up yourself, right? Be gentle, you know, lick your wounds like cats. They lick all the time, always cleaning themselves and, you know, um, they have great intuition as well, right? So you have to use your intuition right now Go to go within and hold this mirror to yourself and work through those fears. So I'm loving the way the flow of this reading is. So then I pulled a moon magic card. Y'all know I never look at those when I pull them. They're a surprise to me too. I have power. It is real. This is our magic moon Moon magic affirmation. And look, it's the full moon. It says, I have power. It is real. And you know, so for some reason, this moon feels like a full moon. It doesn't feel like a new moon to me. 
this solar eclipse, eclipse season is about, you know, digging out and, <laughs> but it does not feel like a new moon. It feels like a full moon, but I still planted my seeds of intention, right? I planted seeds. Um, and I feel like I'm reaping some things like I'm, I'm actually harvesting as opposed to planting, but I did it anyway. Right. But that's what the moon feels like. Ah, I will increase my self-confidence. I love this. This is our manifestation affirmation card from Happy Light Being, which is my deck. So I love doing affirmation cards. And this is one of them. I will increase my self-confidence. So as you work through your fears, you'll get to this. You'll be more self-confident. And not in an egotistical way, but in a humble way. In a way where you can share and help, really help people, right? So I think this is so beautiful. I think um, what we need to do, I think the overall message for this is what is your intentions? What are you really trying to do? Is it heart-centered? You know, is it, or is it money-based? Is it financially based? It doesn't really matter, but you got to know what your intention is in order to receive that vibration back, right? In order to receive that frequency back and match, right? To see that reflection as above, so below. <laughs> you got to match the frequency and vibration that you're putting out. You put something out, it's going to come back. That's just the way life is. So I love this reading. It is a water reading. <laughs> um, I love the, um, the shells, you know, all of the water energy here with Scorpio. Um, I would definitely say take time uh, to sit with yourself a little bit before you do go out and partner with people and really know what your intention is when you go out and partner with people. What are you trying to do? Are you trying to just have fun? Are you trying to learn something? Are you trying to share something? Are you trying to grow with it? Like really just have intention, pure intentions with your movements and your thoughts for the next week or so. So anyway, thank you for listening. I really appreciate you. Take time to do what makes you so happy. Happy, happy. Be happy, be light, be love. Visit my website, www.happylightbeing.com slash store for products, readings, um, and all of my modalities, healing modalities. Mine are a little more fun. Uh, <laughs> I do waist beating, sugar scrub making, salt scrub making. I do a little bit of massage um, with aroma touch, essential oils, um, I also am about to sign up for a class in QHHT in Soul Speak so that I can better assist my clients when they get aroma touch therapy massages. Um, I do free Reiki as well. So just hit me up on my site for that. I love you all so much. And I hope you have a fabulous day. Namaste. Me, Celia.